When you come to my city, you know you gotta tap in, tap in. What they call you? Good in every hood, cause you know that I'm tapping. So baby, tap in, tap in, tap in. Pardon my behavior, I do do drugs. Tap in, tap in. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Yon's World. If you're new here to my channel, hi, I'm Mignon Moore. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a mukbang for this brand called La Michoacana. It's popsicles. And in today's video, we have a special guest, my lovely mom, Sine. I'm gonna be asking her questions about me when I was a baby. She has no idea about what the questions are. Um, but yeah, we're basically gonna have each popsicle. We have 12 popsicles. They have different flavors in this brand. Um, we kind of grew up on them. Um, we have them in the house often, I would say. Uh, my favorite flavor is the strawberry cream one. That's mine. My mom's. What is yours, mom? I really started to like blue, um, the bubble gum, but I do like the strawberry with chocolate. Mm -hmm. So they have so many flavors in this brand, La Michoacana. Um, you can get them at like 7-Eleven. Uh, a lot of Mexican stores have them. Um, but we've always loved this brand, but there are a lot of flavors that we haven't tried. We're going to be trying all the flavors in today's video. There are a total of 12 flavors that we'll be trying. And I wrote down 12 questions that I'll be asking her between the popsicle tasting. So right here we have just like a regular plate and a knife it's kind of scary <laughs> it just <laughs> yeah a knife that i'm going to be cutting just like a piece off for each of us to try i have questions on her phone that i will be asking between the popsicle tasting i have all the popsicles right here in this lunch bag it's supposed to be like what's the word insulated it's supposed to be insulated so that's why i have them in here because obviously we're gonna be talking i don't want all them to melt while we're just sitting here um, but all the popsicles are in the plastic bag. I'm going to be picking them randomly. Um, we haven't um, had all the flavors, so that should be interesting. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> we also have our tea right here. It says, cheers. It says, I love hot cocoa, but we're tea drinkers in this house. Ooh. First flavor. Yes, Ooh. sir. That's a good flavor to pick first. So this is chicle. Um, which is bubble gum. It's a household favorite in this house because it's honestly fire. Like the flavor is banging. So this is a brand a little close up if you guys didn't see earlier when I said it. Um, I advise you guys to get this brand if you have a chance to because it's really good. But I'm just gonna unwrap this right here. And mommy, you wanna cut while I get the question? Well, oh, we're gonna taste it first anyways. No, we'll do the question. So just cut. This is what it looks like. And then has the bubble gums on the bottom. It's fire, y'all. I love the color. So we have our little cubes right here. Little popsicle cubes. I mean, we already tried this one. <laughs> I like bubblegum. Bubblegum is fire. But we already tried bubblegum. It's like a milky bubblegum. That's how I would explain it. We just tried the bubblegum. Well, not tried it because we already had it before. But we just ate the bubblegum. That was our first choice. Um, I didn't say this before, but this idea just kind of popped up. In discussion, we're gonna also rate the flavors. So mine is ten out of ten for bubble gum, just because it's the original for us. So I say ten. I like. She I says like ten. Gum. Okay, so bubble gum gets ten today. Um, the question is, what time was I born? You were born on October seventeenth, nineteen ninety eight, at three fifty five p.m. Period. I love my birthday, honestly. I love being an October baby. Like October, November, December, like that stretch of the year is my favorite time of the year. So I'm glad I was born at the end of the year. Oh. Next is mom's turn to choose her flavor. Wow. Ooh. So she just chose, well, we, we just chose both of our favorite flavors back to back somehow. I don't know how, we didn't plan this that out. That means that we have some flavors that aren't gonna be very good that maybe we're gonna very, oh. Maybe they're good that will surprise us. Wow. Maybe stuff that we just never try because like at, on the surface, we wouldn't you know be interested in that flavor, but maybe something that actually surprises us and we like Maybe it. we didn't try them because they really aren't good. Who knows? But this is Fresca con crema and that's basically- Ooh, you're international. Ooh, that sounded good. <laughs> Um, but basically, it's show them mommy. It's strawberries and cream. Um, fresh strawberries. Fresh strawberries and cream. It has the fresh strawberries like on the bottom. So when you're done eating the popsicle, like it's fire, honestly. And it's also like milky, like consistency, like the bubblegum flavor. So if you like milky rather than what's the opposite, like sorbet, like no, sorbet, sor mm -hmm. sorbet. 
So if you like a milky type popsicle, these are for you. And show them the inside, it looks fire. They have like cut up fresh strawberries on the inside. It's so good. This is my favorite by far, I think. It's cold. This fits yeah. every time. <laughs> What's your rating? I'll give that more time too. <laughs> Get top. Yeah, 10. I'll give that one more time too. The next question is, let's see. How much did I weigh when I was born? <laughs> you weighed eight pounds, three ounces, 21 inches when mm. you were born. Period. Good size. Is that big? That's big for, for a baby. baby. Mm -hmm. Compared to Mariah, what was that? What was Mariah? Mariah was nine pounds, 10 ounces, 23 Damn. inches. Damn. Yeah, natural childbirth. Natural? Like, so mine wasn't natural. It. Yours was natural too. Oh, both was natural? Yeah. You didn't get epidural any of our births, mom? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. I'm epidural. Shoot me <laughs> up. Uh -uh. I asked for it, but it was too late in the It was too delivery. late in the delivery process to give you one. I didn't know that I was a natural born child. That's why I'm so you know. <laughs> okay, next one. My hands. Next popsicle. Here. Next popsicle. Let's see. I'm gonna go to the bottom. Okay. Arroz con leche. So this is rice pudding. I never had this. I've never had that. I don't think and I've I'm had it regular. Say, I don't think I've had it like. I don't normally. think I'm really a fan of rice pudding. I don't, really? I don't I have an issue with texture. Like I've, I don't think I've ever had rice pudding. So, I mean, we'll see what the popsicle is talking about. We'll see what the popsicle is talking about. So, this is what it looks like at first. It's just like. Oh, just cream has. What is that? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know what are in, I don't know what's in the top. Mm, smells like cinnamon. Hmm. It looks like it has cinnamon throughout the whole popsicle, like the little dots you guys can see. But what are these black? It's like something on the top. Is that? I think it, is it rice? It's, is it rice in well, there? We about to get a big piece of it because oh. <laughs> we get in the top. Okay, let's see. Is your piece you got a little you have the, no don't give me the bigger piece you, yeah Both you take have that one, one. It's fine. so you this is what it first. looks like in the inside i don't know we're both kind of skeptical about this is it like a raisin to you is it a raisin i don't like yeah i think it is raisin i think they may put raisins in their rice pudding mm -hmm. i think it is raisin you don't have a bad taste are you eating raisins my food is too cold right now <laughs> I think I'd be able to handle it. I, I wouldn't like give raisins. it. You don't like the raisins? I don't like the chewiness in it. I don't like. Mm, but they start off popsicle. frozen. Mm. I don't like the ending of having just the chewy, wet, soaked raisins. Oh yeah. To chew on. <laughs> What's your rating? Okay, here's my rating or overview of the, this. I like the taste of the popsicle, mm -hmm. like the main white that you're seeing. The main part of the popsicle, the base is really good. It's not bad, yeah. I like rice. I like cinnamon stuff. I like like horchata and stuff. So it's not super cinnamon flavored though. Honestly, the cinnamon taste isn't that strong. But I don't like the chunks of ra fresh raisins they put in there because like raisins are cool, but like I don't eat them just for fun. And so I wouldn't eat them in my popsicle if that makes sense. So I don't mind raisins. I eat raisins uh, all the time. Mm -hmm. um, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I think what's throwing me is the picture of the rice <laughs> on the front of it. <laughs> so she she jinxed herself. Um, but yeah, I give this a, I would say six out of 10. Solid mm -hmm. six out of 10. I think five is neutral. I'll give it a five. All right, so mom says five, I say six. The next question is, what hospital was I born in? You were born at Kaiser Permanente in yes. South Sac. That's the only hospital to rock with. Like, Sacramento, California. Been about Kaiser, period. Sacramento, California. Yes, I was born in Sac, but we moved to the Bay Area around, like, what age? Like, six, seven? No, you started kindergarten here in the Bay Area, so five. When I dug to the bottom, we got some rice pudding, so. A wall. Mommy. Mm. All right, show them show them the show them the package. I'm not a walnut fan. How do you pronounce that? 
Newest. Newest. Walnut. I I don't I don't have a lot to say about walnut. <laughs> I mean I would it eat looks walnut. Like it's, it looks like it's creamy. Yeah, I've had honey roast to the walnuts, I think. And like walnuts and what pastries? Ooh, and that's pecan thing. I want to say my favorite yeah. seeds candy has pecan. No, my favorite seeds candy has you, walnut. You have the walnut one that has the walnut on the top. The walnut squares. Chocolate, the chocolate and oh, the, the caramel walnut the squares. Yeah. yeah. If you, you guys say have, it, you say it like it makes it taste better. If you guys have been to seeds candy, I don't know if that's like a West Coast thing or what, but seeds candy is a fire chocolate place, and one of my favorite chocolates from there is the walnut square, and this is walnut. So, and as it's you creamy. can see, it's creamy, but it's got walnuts all up in the you like it. you like i don't like nuts <laughs> you don't like that? I, was, I was trying not to say you don't like you don't like them do you mommy she don't like them like that so we're gonna try the walnut okay <laughs> <Your stomach? laughs> my stomach her stomach said no <laughs> yeah that, the ice cream the main part is fire. I like the It's cream. not horrible. Mm -hmm. It's a chunk. But it's got chunks. too many. It's got too many walnuts in it. Mm, one. Not one. Not hard rater. She's a hard rater. I give it a. Mm -mm. I'm going to give it a six. What did I give it? A one? Yes. I'll give it a two. I <laughs> like the the taste of the popsicle isn't overwhelming, but it, the, the nuts are too overwhelming. So two. Yeah, I'll give it to you. <laughs> the next question is, how was your pregnancy with me? Like, did you have any cravings? Did you have, like, morning sickness? Hmm. I didn't have any morning sickness. Um, I was a senior in college, so I didn't have time for all of that. I, I had to get to <laughs> class. I had stuff to do. Um, still worked full time. So, no morning sickness. She had to make it happen. That basically, you, you 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 make it happen. Um, I just remember your pregnancy being very long. Really? When I found out that I was pregnant with Mariah, um, I told them that I thought that I was pregnant. They said that I wasn't. Come back and take a test. By the time I came back, I, they were like, "Oh yeah, you're pregnant. You're <laughs> five months." And that went very yeah. quickly. I found out that I was pregnant with you at six weeks. Mm. So it was just really. So yeah, a every long single stage. Pregnancy. Yeah. Every stage. Mm. But no, cra no cravings. Or no morning sickness, but cravings? Anything specific? Pickles? Because I'm obsessed. Mm. I wouldn't necessarily say pickled, but I like spicy stuff. I think that's why your personality is so oh. spicy. Mm. I had hot sauce on everything. <laughs> green beans with hot I sauce. I love hot sauce. Yeah, green beans like with hot stuff. sauce were my was my go to meal. Green but, beans, greens, I love. Yeah. So my turn to choose. I'm not going to show you guys the bag every time. You guys know what we're doing. Um, the next flavor is okay. It's not bad. Limon. So lime. I don't think I've had lime personally. Do they come I've in packs? Lime. No. So they have packs, sort of like Costco and other um, bulk store, bulk stores like wholesale. Okay. Yeah, wholesale stores, and they had this brand and it had like the strawberry one in there, the coconut, coconut. and what was the other one? It was like mint. Was it mint? Maybe. It was three flavors that was in the box. I thought it was one of these, but I don't think I've ever had lime. So I this, can't imagine lime being too different from a regular yeah. lime popsicle. Yeah, me either. But I, this is what we mean when we say more like sorbet type. You see how this one's yeah. more like translucent? The cream ones are more milky type. So we're using son, big words and stuff too. I'm a college graduate. Yes. I'm a city girl. These might be harder to cut. Oh, um, yeah, because they're sorbet and not soft. Damn. <laughs> so she go. just hacked two Make pieces off for us. So this is what they look like. Tastes like lime. Yeah, really strong lime flavor. And these are actually harder to eat as well because they're like hard. It's not like soft like the cream ones. They're icy. Mm -hmm, they're ice. Popable. Like ice cube. More refreshing. Mm hmm. So what is our ratings for the lime? I don't mind the lime. Mm -hmm. I say it's a good solid eight. Depends on what you have a taste for. Yeah, I was gonna say eight too. It's refreshing. It'd be yeah, awesome on a, a hot hot day outside. Mm -hmm. These would be fire. 
Yes. But lime isn't my like go-to flavor, so that's why it gets an eight for me and my mom. Yeah, I agree. The next question is, did I have an early, an on-time, or a late birth? Hmm. What was my due date? Do you remember? It was your a long due, time ago. Your due date was actually October 16th. Oh, your so the birthday. day before I was born. Mm -hmm. So um, late. Or on time. I mean, and on time. Your father was talking to me all day. Are you ready? Are you ready? And I'm like, you asked me one more day. My dad was born the 16th, follow. and that was my Sorry. due date. His birthday is October 16th. Mm -hmm. and that was when she was due. And she wasn't no, coming. No, I wasn't on that coming. Um, I was like, I'm having my own day. Yeah. Try it again. So she, I went into labor like at 1 15 in the morning, and she wasn't born until the next afternoon. Mm. Um, but it was relatively easy. I'm not going to say anything's easy about <laughs> delivery. But, you know, once my water broke, she popped right on wow. out. That Doritos commercial. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I'll say on time then because my on time. my, my yeah, the due next date day. was a day before. Mm -hmm. When you come to my city, you know you gotta tap in. Tap in. But they call you good in every hood because you know that I'm tapping.